let's remind ourselves, the garden isn't that big, so what would you recommend? Personally, I love growing herbs. Not only are they good for cooking, but they look good, they smell great, they invite bees into the garden, and if you cut the stems, you can use them around the house as dried flowers. Now, we had mint in one of our borders and it took over, quite frankly. Yeah, some herbs, especially mint, can be quite invasive, so they do spread. There's two ways around that. Either you put it into a larger container and then it doesn't impact on anything else, or alternatively, keep it in the pot, plant the pot straight into the border, ah. and the pot will stop it from spreading. OK. Uh, we've got one or two fruit trees in our garden here, and they're doing very well. But you wouldn't expect to get too much fruit in a garden this size, would you? No, but you can still get two or three planters, as long as they're the easy care varieties. Self-fertile, that way they don't need other trees around to pollinate them. And those trees, they'd be OK to leave in a pot? Yeah, as long as the pot's big enough, you've got the right compost, it's well drained. Put broken bits of pot, bits of rocks, even polystyrene in the base, and it'll lay drainage and help the plant. You need to water it and feed it regularly. Now, there is an awful lot to choose from, a great range, but let's say the garden is quite small. What one or two things would you recommend? One of the things I would recommend are these salad leaves. Really easy to grow, great for a small garden. By varying the planting times and the varieties, you can have different salad leaves with your barbecues right the way through the summer. I love these kits. I think they're really great. Grow your own kits that are available. Now this one's hot chilli peppers and, and we can grow chilies on a windowsill? You can, yeah, on a windowsill or in the greenhouse. It is so simple. Just cut the top off and water. There's four or five different types in store available now.